You're scared, that's why you don't do it. Be happy and grateful right freaking now. That's one of those moments that, if I look back, one of the best things I've ever done. This is me two years ago. I was diagnosed with Burkitt leukemia, nearly died, had five days left to live, and went through six rounds of chemotherapy. This is the same me two years later. <sighs> it's my birthday, and in case you don't have a present for me, that's okay, because I have one for you, this video. Five steps to, I don't think we can swear on YouTube, change your life. I'm making this video for my younger self. I'm making this video for everybody who's struggling at the moment. And everybody who has a calling of like, mm, there's more to life than just doing something that you don't like, studying something, having a job you don't like, and basically waiting for retirement. This here is a five-step guide to completely change your life. And I have a question for you. If someone would have the recipe for success in terms of fitness, in terms of mindset, in terms of finances, and that person would give you that recipe. But the only, the only thing you need to do is to take action and actually use the knowledge. Would you do it? Like, would you do that deal? Probably yes. So great. We're gonna have fun for the next 15 minutes because it's choice time. I'm, I have those, <laughs> sounds, sounds so arrogant. <laughs> I have those recipes. I, you know, I've been busy studying happy, successful people for the past 10 years and the solutions are there. Some people use it, some people don't. That is as profound as it gets. That's the only exchange. I'm gonna share all of it in the next 15, 20 minutes here with you. Remember, it's my birthday. The only wish I have is that you, for sake, I can't swear here. Actually do something, that you actually change, that you not just listen and listen and read more books and that, 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 but you actually do something with it. Because knowledge is great, but without you executing, this knowledge is just thoughts. You need to do something. I love when people talk about the law of attraction. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit there and I'm gonna, just gonna come. No, you need to take inspired action as well. I'm not one of those people who had a beautiful childhood and everything was rainbows and butterflies. No, nothing like if you had that, I'm really happy for you. I like if I would ever have kids, this is what I'm going to provide for them. I was raised with both mental, physical abuse by alcoholics. I know what it's like to face death. I had stage four cancer, so I'm someone who knows what it's like when it's winter time in your life. And I know a couple of you will be watching this and it's gonna be winter in your life. Perfect transition to the first thing I want to teach. It's probably the most important thing. I will forever remember, picture this situation. So I told you, I like my childhood was, was a training camp, was a boot camp. Everybody who knows what it's like to grow up with alcoholics around you knows that it's, it's hard, it's tough. Me as a teenager, Axel as a teenager, I was, you could, I think it's fair to say I was depressed. Like I had a hard, really hard time to get out of bed. I just, it was like, why am I doing this? Why am I living? I remember asking my question, myself this question, what did I do in my past life to deserve this? What, what, like, why is it me? Why did I have to lose my mother right after I was born? Why do I have to deal with all of this garbage? What the heck did I do? Well, I'll tell you, the day my life changed was when I shifted out of this victim state into creator state. Let me explain. The day I turned my life around was the day, and that's the first step to un your life, you have to take 100% self-responsibility. Three things, and I want you to get a pen, get a piece of paper. It's my birthday, remember? I, like, I can make wishes. Big lesson here, avoid those three things. Blaming, complaining, making excuses. This is ruining your life. Blaming is the opposite of self-responsibility, by the way. Complaining is the opposite of gratitude. It's probably one of the most powerful emotions. You wanna have a beautiful life? Learn how to 
appreciate what's already there. If you focus all the time on what's missing, you're gonna feel lack. You're gonna be, how many more people do we need to prove, you know, you can have money, fame and all of it and still feel miserable? Oh my gosh, we have this idea like, oh, if I get rich, if I get this many followers, if I have a Lamborghini, if I can smoke cigars all day, then I will be happy. Yeah, no, you're not, you're not gonna be. If you're miserable right now, a car, money won't change that. Will it make your life a bit better? For sure. I have no problem with money, I love money. But if you can't be happy right now with what you have, it's gonna be very hard, even if you get that cigar. What is it with cigars nowadays on YouTube? Everywhere where I go, it's like, man, smoking cigar. What the fuck, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyways, that's a different topic. Self-responsibility. This doesn't mean that your past is your fault. If you went through a hard time, if you have a traumatic childhood, this does not mean you deserved any of this, no. It just means that you own the present moment and the future. Whatever happened in the past happened for me. It built this strong person you are. Without your hard childhood, without all, the, all of the challenges from the past, you wouldn't be this person you are proud to be. I wouldn't be the man that I'm proud to be. Like, I'm, it sounds weird, but you know, my childhood, all of the abuse, all of it, all of the bullying in school, all of it, built this man that I'm proud to be and I couldn't help so many people if I would have not gone through this. The beautiful thing about self-responsibility is that it takes you out of victim state. It enables you to change. It enabled me when I was a teenager to say, if I take self-responsibility for how I react, how I frame things, I can change. I can change my life. It's on me. It's not on my surrounding. If the future of my life would lay in the hands of my surrounding, it would have been miserable because they can't even take care of themselves. How are they supposed to take care of me? But then I was like, oh, wow, what a concept. I'm not a stone I can change. Brilliant. You change your whole life when you stop blaming, complaining and making excuses. I made a deal with myself that every single day I would feed my mind for at least 30 minutes. And I would do something for my body for at least 30 minutes. Those very simple things. And by the way, most things are not complicated. Many important areas of our lives are not complicated. Getting into shape, very simple. Train progressively, eat well, mainly whole foods, eat enough calories, well, based on your goals, but eat well, train well, do that consistently. If you do that for the next couple of years, you're gonna look amazing. Don't make it unnecessarily complicated. Complexity is the enemy of execution. We are so much in our head these days. Overthinking everything and that, 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 that. <sighs> Taking action makes the difference. Make us always gonna make. Think us always gonna think and like, oh, what would be the perfect way of doing that, that, that. You scared, that's why you don't do it. If you're in your head, you're dead. There's this beautiful tennis court where I play tennis every single day. If you play tennis and you're too much in your head, if you are thinking too much of, I'm gonna, how I'm gonna make this perfect slice? Every tennis coach will tell you, well, if you're overthinking it, it's, it's not gonna work. The ball will land in the net. Try making love with being in your head. You're gonna have a hard time. Garbage in, garbage out. So we need to make sure we get good quality thoughts into your head. You think thousands of thoughts every single day and most of them are repetitive. Most of the garbage thoughts you're thinking today were the garbage thoughts of yesterday. So we need to think better thoughts. How are you gonna do that? Well, how about you put literally positivity into your head and in front of your eyes. Not garbage, but wisdom. So you read books, biographies, Learn from other people. If you want to be successful, study success. If you want to be happy, study ha happiness. If you want to be, be fit, study fit people. They will give you freaking clues. Think about it. If I would give you, let's say the recipe, my grandma made this phenomenal apple cake. It's my birthday, she would have, she would have baked it <laughs> today. If I would give you the recipe for that cake, would you bake the same cake? One million percent not, because my grandma always, she had this, this is my grandma, she's a superhuman. Would you create an amazing cake if you would follow step-by-step -step instructions? Of course. 
If I would give you my fitness protocol and you would do the same thing over and over again, would you create amazing results? Yes, of course, if you have the right strategy. And that brings me to a part of this video that I'm really excited about. Today is my birthday and the launch of my new program, TLO, the lucky one. Do you know how many times in my life someone told me, Axel, you're so lucky you get to live wherever you want, you have your dream business, you have a six pack, sometimes depending on the light, an eight pack, you're so lucky. And I completely agree, I'm really lucky. And so are you. The thing is with luck, luck is nothing you find on the, on the street. Luck is something that we can make. We make our own luck. And so I created a program, I give you my recipe for success in terms of mindset, your health, fitness, 10 years of experience in terms of coaching, put my best advice in terms of health, wealth, money mindset into one program, you can do it. And if you get TLO during my birthday week, you also get, listen carefully, because this is absolutely bananas, you will also get a retreat ticket on top, usually a retreat ticket is already two or three times as much. You get four weeks of group coaching live with me, so you can do it online wherever you are in the world. And the first, the first 60 people get a retreat ticket, the first 100 people get a signed copy of my book that is coming. Yes, I finished my book, I didn't even tell you, right? So, if you're watching this during my birthday week, if you're watching this later, you should still get the course because it's life-changing. If you do the course, if you follow the steps, if you really put in the work, it's gonna change the way you look, the way you feel, and make you incredibly wealthy long-term. There's no quick magic pill fix. This is not me, you know me. TLO is open for enrollment right freaking now. Link in the description. You start making your own luck as well. The third one is a bit spiritual. I remember my sister gifted me this book about law of attraction around 10 years ago. It's no, 11 years ago. It was, I was 18 at the time. And she told me, Axel, read this book. It's going to change your life. But whatever doesn't resonate with you in that book, just skip it. And I did that. And I can say that book, studying the law of attraction, changed my life. Here's the most important lesson. The most important thing is that you feel good. When you feel good, you are in alignment with what you really want. You make better decisions and therefore get better results. Those two things determine the quality of your life, whether you create the things you want to create or not. Number one, focus. Focus on what you want. You can't focus on unwanted and expect wanted. That doesn't work. It just doesn't. And you say, oh, it's so simple. Overly simplistic, yeah? But what, tell me, what's reality? Most people, they can give you very long list with the things they don't want. I don't want to be in this job. I don't want to have this relationship. I don't want to, I don't want him to do this. Blah, 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 blah. I don't want, I don't want. And then ask, tell me, what do you want? Most people don't even know what they want. One of the best freaking questions that you can ask yourself is, what do I want? You can't manifest the things you want if you don't even have a clue what you want. <laughs> Get a pen, get a piece of paper, write down, what do I want? What do I want to have? What do I want to be? What do I want to do? Focus on that. Focus on what you want. Number one, focus on feeling good right now. Do not make that mistake of saying, once I have X, Y, Z, I'll be happy and grateful. Once I have the money, I'll be happy and grateful. Once I have the success, I'll be happy and grateful. Once I have the job, I'll be happy and grateful. Once I have a partner, I'll be happy and grateful. Lack attracts more lack. Be happy and grateful right freaking now so that X, Y, Z can happen. Can happen even quicker so that you allow it to come to your life. Lack attracts lack, abundance attracts abundance. Simple as that. Think about the people who need clients, for example, the most who need money the most. They usually have the least. And you can say it's unfair and da, 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 da. I agree. But this is how it works. And what a beautiful concept. This means right now you need to be happy and grateful. Right now you need to find what's good. In every single moment in your life, there is something that is good and there is something that is bad. Always and forever. It's choice time. You can focus on what's good 
and you can focus on what's bad. You can focus on what's, on what's missing. And if you focus all the time on what's missing, you're gonna feel like what? Garbage. You're gonna feel lack. If you focus on what's good, of course you're gonna feel better. I give you a very practical example so that you also understand. You can do that even when shit hits the fan. I was laying in this hospital bed, in this hospital room. I had stage four cancer. I was going through six rounds of brutal chemotherapy. Only the people who went through something similar, they understand what a freaking journey that is. So I'm laying in this hospital room and I had all the reasons in the world to feel bad and to complain and do nothing else than complaining. So many things that were not good, so many things that were missing. Even in that moment, there was something good. Starting with this gorgeous woman that makes me home-cooked meals, basically whatever the heck I want every single day and brings it to my room. Those amazing people who love me genuinely. Whether I have hair, whether I don't have hair, whether I have this body or I don't have this body, they just love me for who I am. Hmm. I can breathe. Wow. What's good is always available and what's bad is always available. It's choice time. You choose every single day what you want to focus on. And if you focus with enough intensity on all of the things that are good, you're going to feel good. If you focus with all intensity and we are world champions at that skill, if you focus on what's missing and what's bad, you're going to feel like shit in an instant. So here's a practical, simple thing you can do every single morning. When you wake up, get a pen, get a piece of paper, write down, this is good about my life. And don't just freaking write it down, but actually feel it. Every day, write down, this is what I want to create today. This is what I want to achieve today. This is what I would be proud of. If you can do that, it's going to change your whole life. Remember, you made a promise to me that you will do it. Set an alarm, get that pe pen, get a piece of paper ready for tomorrow. This thing is going to change your life, but only if you use it. Remember, it's simple. It's not overly complicated. The fourth thing, surround yourself with people who are ahead of you. There's this quote by Jim Rohn, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you want to grow, surround yourself with people who challenge you, people who you can learn from. Not just always people, you know, you can give advice and that's important too, like mentoring people. And by the way, if you right now don't have that surrounding, you can change that instantly. But Excel, where will I meet people? Well, nowadays you have this smartphone and you can start with listening to podcasts of people who are ahead of you and learn from them. And the best thing is you're not even talking. <laughs> you're just listening. So many times people give advice who shouldn't give advice. So there you can just, you can literally surround yourself with the most amazing minds on planet Earth. Think about the concept of a book. There is someone who lived life, shares his, her best advice, puts it into a book. You can buy it for 10, 20 euros. I don't know how not everybody's doing it, but again, this is as profound as it gets. Some people do, some people don't. On which side do you want to be? This is as simple as it is, as it gets. Some people do, some people don't. That's one of those moments that if I look back, one of the best things I've ever done. Went to India and I volunteered at this school. That is the moment I realized I'm really rich. I realized richness is a perspective choice. I went to India, I went to this place, village close to Jaipur, beautiful city, very wild place. And um, I went to, this, to the school to volunteer, to help, with, you know, just be there, like help with English, help, just be present and help with, with whatever need, you, they need help with. And I was sleeping on the floor it was incredibly cold. I didn't know that it gets very cold in India during the night. Who would have thought? It's the desert, but who, who would have thought? It, got, it was really cold. The food was so spicy, I could barely eat anything. But oh boy, I felt so freaking happy. And all I had was this red backpack. I slept on the floor. I had a roof above my head. I had enough food. And I was doing something meaningful. I had a sense of contribution. One of the reasons why so many people suffer nowadays is because 
they focus just on themselves. What can I get from life? What can I get? Quote by Tony Robbins, who impacted my life so much. The secret to living is giving and it's so freaking true. Find a way how you can give. And if that, the first thought that comes up is like, oh, Alexa, but I don't have any money. That's why I'm watching this video. Yeah, well, if you keep being in that mindset, this won't change. Remember blaming? Three things you don't want to do, blaming, complaining, and making excuses. Okay, well, if you only have 10 euro, how about you give, it, give one euro? I love it when people say, well, if I would have a lot of money, then I will donate 10% of my income. Really? If you can't donate a euro out of 10 euro, you're not gonna donate 100,000 euro out of a million. It's just not gonna happen. Start when the amounts are small. It's not gonna happen. And by the way, if you, you don't even have to just donate your money. I didn't donate money in, in, during that time. I donated my time, which is even more valuable than money. Money you can always make. Money grows on trees. But time, hey, time is the most valuable thing in the world. It's never gonna come back. It's gone, it's done. Finished, finito. If you can create a life right now, and you can, where you find something that you give instead of take, quality of your life changes, fear disappears. Create a life mission, a purpose that is bigger than yourself. I'm not a religious person, super religious person. I'm not an expert when it comes to the Bible, even though my grandma made, it, made me read it. <laughs> Good book, by the way. But I will forever remember this one sentence. Give, 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 and you shall receive. Couldn't be more true. Become a giver, my friend. Life will reward you in ways you can't even imagine. In your business, give. In your private life, give. In terms of charity, donation, donate your time, help people out. This will make you so rich, so much more rich than money could potentially make. Go volunteer at an animal shelter. shelter. Go help people. Go do good things. Puts you into, remember I said the most important thing is that you feel good? It's gonna make you feel so freaking amazing. Highest frequency we can be on is love and gratitude. Oh, excellent. It's so spiri schmiri, it's the fucking truth. Okay, I can't swear on YouTube, right? How about instead of wishing for people to give you love, you're gonna give love and you feel loved during the journey. Then the self-obsession me, 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 me stops. The secret to living is giving. So, we have a couple of things and we had a deal. I'm spending 40 minutes of my birthday with you today and I, the only thing, the only wish I have from you is that you change something. Number one, take full self-responsibility. And every single time when you catch yourself thinking a negative thought, when you catch yourself complaining, blaming, making excuses, and you shift that thought, that's a win. Become a gentle observer of your thoughts. This is already a really big thing. Number two, make a deal with yourself. 30 minutes per day, something for your mind, to read books, listen to audiobooks, listen to podcasts, 30 minutes for your body. Exercise, find a sport you love, go on walks, go on hikes, move that body. Start your day with this simple list. This is good about my life, this is what I want. Number four, add more positivity to your life. Spend more time with people who are positive, who are ahead of you. And last but not least, and everybody can do this, just imagine the impact. This video will be watched by thousands of people. Just imagine the impact we would all have if everybody here would pick one charity, would pick one person you can help and support. And then if you want to have the shortcuts, if you want to learn from my mistakes and the mistakes of so many people, if you want to get their success recipes, I've been studying successful people for the past decade. The strategy to health, fitness, an incredible mindset inside TLO. Remember, incredible bonuses are waiting for you right freaking now. You get highly rewarded right now for being an action taker. I'm so convinced of this program. If you do it and you don't see improvement in the next three months, you get your money back. I don't want money. I want you to change lives. I love money. Don't get me wrong. Sorry, universe. <laughs> I love money. The most important thing for me is impact, is that you do something with your life, that you change your life, that you understand how precious this time is. Change something. Unless you change, nothing will change. Same thoughts, same results. Same action, same 
results. Simple as that. Make your own luck, mate. Change your freaking life right now. Change something, one thing at a time. Well, I gave you five things, but you get the message. What is one thing right after this video that you will do? Immediate action. Act when the idea is hot. Don't be one of those tomorrow people. Oh, tomorrow I'm gonna do that. Yeah, well, tomorrow, to tomorrow the coffee is cold. You're not gonna do it tomorrow. Either you do it now or you don't. Simple as that. Act when the idea is hot, when you are in the state, when you feel inspired. This is when you do it. It's my birthday. I'm gonna make myself a beautiful coffee and enjoy this view. Thank you for listening. Thank you for changing your life. Thank you for taking action. Happy birthday. Turn around. Best tuk-tuk driver ever, right? Yeah. <laughs>